It's um, February 2nd, 2022. We are in the middle of the desert, although it doesn't look like it. You can see an industrial area of Mali Adomim. Uh, we are not so far away from uh, uh, Jerusalem. This is the desert of Judea. And we are looking at one of the monasteries that started at the 5th century, at the 4th century, no, 5th century, um, next to Jerusalem. We are talking about Aftimius, which is Saint Aftimius the Great, and he, he was born in 377 AD and died at 407. Uh, 73. He was um, actually was born for a burn, a burn um, woman from Armenia. Today it's a uh, part of Turkey, and he had a and she had a vision of that birth. His name is the meaning of his name is good cheer, and um, the parents died when he was young. Then he went to study at the Christian's Institute. And at um, the age of 18, he became to be a priest. And he was uh, responsible of some of the monasteries. At age 29, he reached uh, Israel. And he'd been in so many uh, monasteries in that area that we just, yeah. Um, he even been in Masada. If you've been in Masada and saw a chapel there, that's his uh, chapel. At 428, he reached that area. And what you see here is, uh, is a gate from, uh, not from now, from ancient time. And if I remember, yes, that was a place of a tower. When he came to here, it wasn't like that. It was um, simple. Some caves and places like that. But let me... He himself was such an important uh, priest uh, and that are a monk and um, he's actually the second generation of monks at the desert of Judea and Sabbath, uh, Gerasmus, of Tim um, um, and some others became residents and built their uh, chapels uh, and, and monasteries in that area as well. He himself lived in the cave and um, we're now going to his crypt. He actually, after he died, it became to be a crypt, which is a beautiful place to see. Um, for so many years, you couldn't add that to here. And if you wanted to enjoy the holiness, you had to um, see it from there or let's say uh, put some napkins in that to enjoy the environment of it. And let's go into the crypt. It will be a little bit crowded now. <laughs> you can see now the uh, tomb of Aftimius together with so many others that have been buried here. But this is his mark. We know that until the 12th century, his body was here, but from that moment, we don't know a lot. Down there, there are more places to be buried. And I know that when they excavated it, they found a lot of bodies here. And I'm in a way, I'm walking on tombs as well. This is the icon of Timius, and what you can see here is the beard. The one who had the beard are usually monks, the one who left society. Um, uh, if it's a long beard, it means that he is doing it for a long time. More of the, those Kohim niches to buried people. And let me climb out. Let me take you to a short tour here. Um, the monastery is uh, mainly from uh, 5th century, but after he died, Martidius built um, 
the place. You saw the walls, <coughs> you saw the gates. And I'm taking you for just a glimpse tour to see the Byzantine and the Crusader church. That area is the monks' rooms. They were very simple. Down there is an amazing water system. A huge one. Um, they didn't... I mean, think about the people who've been here. I'm not talking about million monks, but they knew that if they will build here a water system and they will let people drink it. I'm talking about Arab uh, tribes here, the Bedouins. That place will be safe. Then, this is uh, the church. You can see the apps here. Actually, there are three. Two small ones for the two corridor and the nave. As we believe, that was from the Crusader time, and that part is from the Byzantine time. The dining room is, we actually above it. That was, um, see, you remember the entrance, a big yard here. There's oven there as well, and the bakery in a way, and the kitchen. It's not a big place, but altogether it will take the, um, let's say, let's go to the 6th century. We're talking about a uh, few thousand of uh, monks here and add to it, not only in that place, all over. And if you will add the pilgrims who came to here to serve them and to be with them, it can reach to 10,000 people. Most of the monasteries been destroyed at the 6th century by the uh, Muslims, but that one survived and uh, it actually was functioning at the Crusader time as well. We are at the desert of the, of the holy city of Jerusalem. That's another name that the monks gave to them. Monks. Uh, at the beginning, when the Romans didn't allow the Christians to be Christians, then people were martyrs. And because of the suffering, they actually organized themselves, themselves as a big community. But later on, in the 4th century, when the Christians became to be the, um, uh, actually the government um, religion, the people who were against it, against the idea that um, in a way against um, the, the, the church, because the church became to be very big, um, um, the mystery started to disappear, then some of them left the society. And uh, Optimius was one of them. Sabas, we are going to see his Laura, his uh, monastery soon. That will be in a different video. Um, Sabas came to here when he was 18. He went to the cave that we just uh, saw and he said to Optimius, I want to be a monk just like you. He looked at him and said, Hell, 
look at you. You still have beard. Uh, you don't have beard. I mean, look at that. It's not long at all. It's nothing. You cannot do that. Then in that matter, uh, he sent him to another monastery not so far away from here uh, to be together. I mean, to study. Uh, to study, I'm talking about, it can be for 20 years to study how to be a monk because it's not so easy. You have to deal with yourself mentally and physically. Uh, with the weather, uh, what about food? With the enemies, wild animals. Then it wasn't as easy as it is, but so many things that have team use actually started. Uh, monks are doing it until today. For example, 40 days of Lent. Um, they're living the monasteries and going to caves or even wandering around for 40 days without a lot of food. Mm, not easy. What we are going to do now, we're going to climb that truck, safari truck, and enjoy a nice ride. Master 